Welcome to an ancient island inspired by Chinese mythology and period drama. This island is divided into three realms, the realm of mortals, the realm of ghosts, and realm of heaven. Also, if you are familiar with Chinese mythology, you're going to notice that some villagers represent mythical beings. This island is by my friend Xixi, and oh my goodness, every single island that she makes blows me away, but this one might take the cake. As per usual, all of Xixi's information is going to be in the description box in terms of custom codes, where you can follow her on social media, all that good stuff, so make sure to go give her some love and tell her I sent you. With that said, you guys, I hope you're having an amazing day, and let's go ahead and dive right right on into this tour. And here we are at the entrance. If you do decide to visit this island yourself via Dream Address, you'll notice a couple of props and outfits that are right outside of resident services. So I went ahead and changed clothes right before getting started here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this map. I haven't even taken a peek yet. Oh my goodness, so many houses. Now there are a ton of residents here. Uh, I do believe none of the interiors are fully finished, so we're not gonna go inside any of them, but I just love, love how we are going to see so many beautiful exteriors. And look at these villagers. Again, if you are familiar with Chinese mythology, then you'll notice that some of these are representative of characters and mythical creatures in those stories. So we have, of course, Phoebe, then we have Drago, Tianxiang, Pico, Rolf, Pinky, Chow, Chester, Roscoe, and Blanche. And here's the dream address right on the screen if you wanna pause the video, maybe grab your Switch yourself and tour along with me. Or like I said in the intro, everything is gonna be in the description box as well, so that way you can go give Cece some love and check out some gorgeous, gorgeous pictures of this island too. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. I love this flag. I love a flag that is totally custom to the island itself with the island name on it. So stunning, so, so stunning. And here we go. Look at this entrance. Oh, so pretty. Oh, no, not the map, come on. It's been a minute since I've filmed a, an island tour, so I'm a little bit rusty, but look at how gorgeous this entrance is and can we just talk about how perfectly resident services lines up with the airport? That is a rarity. <laughs> I'm so happy to see it. It's so pretty. Absolutely stunning. So of course, as you can tell, this goes directly to resident services, but I kind of want to sneak around here to the left and check out this whole area. Oh my gosh, these codes. Wow. So pretty, and I do want to take a little peek at the beaches. I know that they're minimally decorated, but we still have to look. We have a villager house right here. I'll tell you what, I know I say it every single time I see a structure on the beach, but it always just inspires me to give it a try. I'm so lazy and I never, never really try too hard with my beaches, but doesn't this look just stunning? I love the contrast of the green mums on that exterior as well. So good looking. This is so neat. So many exterior buildings too, with all of the castle wall and gate items. Oh, I just love. Yeah, this is so, so well decorated. I love just how simple it is with some rocks and flowers and the wheat field and a little well, but that's really all you need for an effective beach, huh? I love it. I'm gonna hop right this way. <laughs> now let's go on to the right side as well. <laughs> so if we go over here, oh my goodness, how neat. Man, look at the use of those standees right there. I just think that's so creative when people put items right in the holes of those standees so that way it almost serves like a little window for a shop. I've seen people do that for school buses, trains. I think it's just so creative. And I know y'all already know I'm gonna say this, but I'm quite obsessed with all of the colors going on. Very neutral, very green, and then just a little pop of pink and purple here and there. I just think that's gorgeous. 
definitely, definitely playing to my personal biases there. <laughs> biases, biases, you know what I mean. Yeah, this is stunning. Look at this transition area. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. And looks like here we have a little restaurant or shop. This is so impressive. This truly looks like we're in the middle of a town square of sorts, walking through a city. This is beautiful. And again, with those custom codes, I just think they're so pretty and putting those simple panels against the castle wall. And I think there's even storefronts. It looks like, yeah, in between there. It just creates so much depth and dimension. And two, look at this, using the little hedge fencing right there and single doses. So that way it looks like they could be bushes, but it is not. And a little wishing well tucked back this way. Wow, so much detail, even in every single corner. Absolutely beautiful. This is so pretty. It really does feel super serene. Obviously, very, very zen. Oh, this is one of my favorite codes right here. This little kind of succulent looking plant. I use it on my own island and I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at this purple too. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous pop of color going against the otherwise like super bright green. I love it. This must be a summertime, <laughs> summertime island. It is so pretty. Ooh, I love the exterior of this home. <gasps> Who lives here? Tian Cheng. I wonder, is this the, the regular exterior or has this been customized? Let me know, because I love it. I think it looks really, really pretty. Even like the dropped little parasol there. So many details. <gasps> oh, wow. And that almost looked for a second at a certain angle as if it was inside of this little guy right here. How cool. Now I am far too tempted to ignore going back this way. So let's take a sneak peek. Oh, and here's another villager home. So pretty. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm loving about this island so far? It is so full of items. I mean, look at that. Look at this angle. Oh my goodness. And yet, it seems, I mean, funny enough, quite clutter-free to an extent. I mean, it is chock full of designs. And yet, very easy to get around so far. This is truly beautiful, though. I love this view. Oh, a couple of friends. <laughs> What makes a hero? I love it. Y'all have to let me know. Do you customize your residence? Little saying. Hey, get back here. Where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> are you lost? You know what? Not yet, but you know me very well, and I'm sure I will be quite soon. <laughs> no, I don't want to ignore this absolutely beautiful cooking spot right here. Wow. Absolutely adore this. And before I go back where Rolf is back there, look at this rock garden. Hello. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Actually, this whole waterscaping and, 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 and situation with the Browns and Bridge, it is really pretty. That's my favorite bridge, by the way. If anyone uh, was curious on my bridge preferences in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I love the natural brown Zen bridge. Like this is so creative. Look at how Rolf here has, oh, well, I guess, no, this is an actual resident house. Excuse me. You tricked me, buddy. I thought this was yours. But look at how this whole area is so separate from everything else. You have the castle gates, the castle walls, everything really compartmentalizing this one yard. And it does help too that we have some of the light dirt pathing. 
in this area, but outside we're in the grass. So it really does feel quite separate. Man, this is so pretty. Okay, I am gonna go on this bridge back here. I'm obsessed with this rock garden. <gasps> Whoa, what? Oh my goodness, hold on. We gotta get a good angle for this. This is quite cool. Let's do a little camera trick so we can get as best of a view as possible. Now, I am not familiar with the stories that are referenced in this island tour. However, if you are, please let me know what references you're catching because this clearly is indicative of something. And it is so cool. Wow. This is so phenomenal and I did not even see it over here. You know what? This has inspired me to use whatever these flame, flame items are. So much more. This is so cool. Oh, and it splits then left and right. <gasps> Ooh, let's go to the right first. I see Tian Shang going a certain way and we are going to follow suit. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my goodness. Well, there's a throne up here. Is this for you? Is this yours, buddy? Oh my God. Wow. <gasps> okay, this is wild. How cool is this? And then we have this triple incline moment, which is just amazing. This is so neat. Wow, okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta explore a little bit more down here. So I guess I can get down from this little vine. <gasps> so this is a graveyard, it looks like. Definitely. Definitely some, some bones. <laughs> so spooky. Very cool. Now, before we really continue on, I saw this ladder and uh, I am too intrigued. I guess this goes back. <gasps> back here to these homes. And there's the campsite you can see down there on the beach. Hi, Roscoe. I think, sorry, I'm gonna push you out of the way, but I'm about to compliment you as well. I think Roscoe is awesome. I've never had him on my island, but just, he's such a badass, isn't he? So cool. And it looks like we have two villager homes up here. Very cool. One of which I'm guessing is Roscoe's. Who is in here? And Blanche. <gasps> so we have like a, a black and white situation. We have a black horse and a white bird. They would make a very like cute couple now, Roscoe and Blanche. Kind of like a like a power couple. And then it just loops back around. This layout is amazing. It really is. And now we're back exactly where we were. Now before we fully, fully go on that side. I want to backtrack because we didn't really see this whole right side and I really do not want to miss out on this work of art because it is pretty amazing. So let's go back down this way, which this whole area, wow, <laughs> amazing. But we didn't go down here and I want to see what's going on. Ooh, gorgeous exterior. <gasps> I love, 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 love this greenhouse. How gorgeous is that? Oh wow, we have three right here. Oh, it's like a little neighborhood. Wait a second, that is so cool. Look at this. All three of these houses are so close to one another and yet they look so appropriate being that close together, if that even makes sense. It doesn't even feel like crowded or cramped. Oh, there's four houses. Wow. Wait, let me talk to you. Get over here. <laughs> it 
drink your sorrows away. You know what? I got some like not great news today. Um, so I might, I might do that later. I think I'm gonna go get myself a manicure and then maybe just, uh, yeah, drink my sorrows away. Oh, we already talked to you. What makes a hero? That's a great question. What does make a hero? Let's get philosophical for a second. I think someone who leads by example. That's pretty heroic. Um, someone who like kills monsters. That's pretty heroic. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And now I really want to bust out into some uh, Footloose. Holding out for a hero. Great song. Not the, not the best musical, though. Uh, I'll admit it. I've been in it twice, and it's not my favorite. Okay, I'm rambling. Wow, this is so pretty. We didn't see this view. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, yeah. What? Hello, waterscaping. Wait, come on, camera. There we go. Pinky. Are you not blown away by this water right here? That's, that's, I mean, I feel like I do an okay job with my cliff terraforming, but water? I, I struggle. I am not the best, and I will be the first to admit that. Ooh, okay, I'm just kind of going all over the place, aren't I? But you know what? That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be how this tour is. <laughs> Oh, I see. So this is the little market and over here, yes, over here was that house that we saw a second ago. Oh my gosh, the way that all of this connects is really impressive. Wow, so we have all these stalls. Here's one like for pottery. Oh, actually it looks like most of them are pottery. Oh my goodness, I love this. If you need inspiration for like a marketplace or a shop, wow, this is stunning. Man, I love touring islands, <laughs> I really do. Look at how cool this is. This is a beautiful custom path as well. This beautiful gray stone. It's so intricate and detailed. And it looks so clean too. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I see, and then we're back here. Okay, well, let us go back. But this truly is beautiful. And this whole incline, holy moly, come on now. Is this not just one of the coolest sets of inclines you've seen? So we've already seen quite, quite a large amount of bridges and inclines. So thank goodness for that 2.0 update, right? Back in the day, back in my day, <laughs> we were limited to eight. Or was it six inclines? Maybe it was six. Oh, this is so pretty and more villager homes. I love this green door. I really do. I know we saw one earlier, but is that not beautiful? It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look at this path, the little green leaves. Wow, so many great, great codes on this island. Beautiful. Oh wait, oh wait, is this the queen herself? Oh, I wish, I wish I could read this. <laughs> that is something I need to do. My, my dumb ass only knows English and I feel like that is a crime. It is. I took German in high school and don't remember a lot of it. <laughs> I would love to be multilingual though and I think it's so amazing when people are. And I feel like I've done such a huge disservice to myself not taking the time to learn something. Wow. Oh my goodness. Holy beautiful museum. I love this. And let me explain why. <laughs> I absolutely love a sunken museum. And this is a perfect example as to why. Look, and again, more inclines, but look at how they perfectly frame that museum entrance. 
I could do this all day. I really could. Is that not so pretty? And I've seen it the opposite way, where usually the museum is elevated and the inclines are going up and frame the entrance, but I love how it's sunken. And then you can just, you can just do this all day, every day, you know, and just, you know, do your stadiums, <laughs> get your exercise in. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, this is beautiful. And I love how the columns in the back do have the bones resting on top. It's just, just eerie enough. Everything here is so symmetrical. Look, I think every single thing in frame, yeah, pretty much every single thing in frame uh, has a mirror, has a little, a little counterpart. And I think that is beautiful. 10 out of 10 on that one. Oh my goodness. Ooh, let's go up here. Ooh, this is cool. I feel like we're in the, in the mountains, in the clouds. Such a good spot for stargazing. I really do, I need to, um, I really just wanna, uh oh, there we go. I want to play some of the earlier parts of Animal Crossing again. Um, I shouldn't even say earlier, obviously the functionalities are very much in the game whenever, uh, whenever you've progressed quite far, but like stargazing, collecting the star fragments naturally, all that good stuff. Can I jump again? Hello? <laughs> Where's the character that said, are you lost? Because now, now I'm getting there. Yeah, this is just absolutely stunning. Wait, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Where where did I go wrong? Oh, here we go. This is where I went wrong. <gasps> this must be our, our queen. There she is. <laughs> Here's her handle. But again, everything I'm just gonna link directly in the description box. Also, CC does an amazing job too if you are interested in these codes, uh, making sure that they're on like Instagram highlights, all that good stuff. So if you wanna use any on your own island, also just tell her I love her and that she's the best. That's all. Can I play this? This is so pretty. This whole island is like very cohesive and serene. And I really, I'm so jealous of anyone and everyone who understands, oh wow, this is beautiful, who understands the references because it is just immaculate even without knowing them. So I would imagine if you're picking up on a lot of the stories and references from Chinese mythology, then you're probably blown away even more than I am. And I am, uh, I can't say I'm surprised because I'll tell you what, she makes some outstanding islands. And I'll make sure to uh, link in the description a couple of other ones that I've toured, but holy moly. If you want your jaw to be on the floor, yep. Look at her islands. Oh, and here we're on the back beach. Oh, that's cool. Well, there we go. So now we can explore the left side. I do have, yes, a vaulting pole. Can I, can I vault? Oh, whoa. Oh, I went this way. <laughs> I meant to go a different way, but hey, you know what? That actually works quite nicely. We're just gonna go backwards. And I see a vine, I climb a vine. Oh wow, this view, oh, here we go. It is, oh wait, a Mario pipe. Well, we're gonna have to use that. Look at how pretty this is. This is one of my favorite aspects whenever I tour islands is like the, kind of the happy accidents, if you will, when you stumble across a view like this. So pretty. Always make sure to look up whenever you're touring islands yourself because you might miss out on a view like this and wow. Wow, wow, wow. It does not deserve to be looked over at all. Look at the moon, like the moon behind the little volcano back there. Oh, that is so gorgeous. 
So do we go? Do we go through the pipe? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's gotta be there for a reason, yeah? Maybe? We'll find out. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And now... We are literally at the moon that I was just talking about, and now... Holy smokes. This view. What? Oh my goodness. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like sit down so I'm like out of the way as much as possible. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, you've gotta be kidding me. <gasps> stunning. So stunning. Yeah. What? Words, they're gone. Words are gone. What a beautiful main house. That is gorgeous. Fit for the queen herself. Absolutely immaculate. How come my yards always look like, you know, like poo poo? This looks so good. <laughs> Love the Mario Pipe 2 hidden right behind the mountaintop. That is just so creative. Again, I can't say I'm too surprised. Cece's an icon, a legend in this community. <laughs> Look, here we have a little place to grab some tea. This is just making my heart so happy. And might I just say, this right here brings me so much joy. This. You see this? Just a clean, clean, easy to navigate path. I love it. I absolutely love it. I do. Maybe... Maybe I'm a simple lady, <laughs> but I, I love an easy to navigate path. Oh, wow. And then we are at resident services. So here is where you will wake up. Of course, if you decide to tour this island yourself and look at how pretty, I mean, come on. How, how I have never been able to make my area of resident services look particularly cool. Um, but I could take some notes <laughs> on this island because this is so cool. Wow, what did we do without these like castle items? They really make a difference, don't they? So stunning. And then here, of course, is where we go back to the airport. It's beautiful. Now, how exactly, hmm, I want to find out how we can get to Nook's Cranny, right? How do we get to, let me see on the, on the map, because we haven't seen Able Sisters or Nook's, and they're back there. Okay. We're going back this way. <laughs> I do my absolute best, especially on amazing islands like this. Oh my goodness. I feel like it's such a disservice to leave any stone unturned. So, how can I get there? Can I get there? If there's a will, there's a way. It's not hidden, is it? Maybe it is. Wait a second. Wait a second. I feel like at some point I need to make a compilation video um, just of me getting lost on islands. <laughs> I truly, I, I can't. It, you know what is the best invention ever? Truly. Um, is the good old GPS. I, I don't know how I would ever get around bef before that existed. I mean, I was definitely driving before GPSs were, like, fully accessible. I think I had one in my car, but, like, it wasn't, like, Google Maps or Waze or, you know, anything. It was, like, whatever Honda made. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so it didn't have every location in it. Didn't update really regularly. Because, you know, you're not, like, connected to Wi-Fi. Oh. Ma'am, will you? Thank you. <laughs> But with all of that said, 
I think I used like, do you guys remember MapQuest? Is it, am I just showing my age now where you would print out directions? Here we go. I knew I would get to it somehow. We didn't even go this way. I didn't even see that path, but there was clearly a path to get to Sweet Nooks. Oh, and it's Little Nooks too. Oh man, I love Baby Nooks Cranny. It's just so, so sweet, so pure. <gasps> Ooh, wait, yeah, we didn't even see this area either. Oh my goodness, so much to explore. Pinky, Pinky, you gotta help me out. No, this is actually really gorgeous. Look at this castle. And then, if I were a betting woman, I think we might see uh, Able Sisters over here. Maybe, possibly, potentially. Oh boy, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, and here are those houses again. Everything connects. Okay. Oh, there it is. I see it. Maybe it's meant to be. Maybe it is meant to be hidden. I think I think so. Right? Am I just trying to be sneaky? Yeah, I think Abel Sisters is supposed to be hidden. CC, if you're watching this, let me know. <laughs> Man, what an island. This really is just immaculate. The amount of detail too, with all of the different pathing, how this whole area is like very like natural. Okay, this is like a party over here. <laughs> this area is so natural, but then we have that whole separate area with like the marketplace, tons of houses. I mean, it, it really is stunning, isn't it? Please make sure to visit this island yourself and quite frankly, all of the amazing creations by this island designer because you will not regret it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tour as much as I enjoyed conducting it. Please let me know too in the comments what references you caught if you are familiar with Chinese mythology. Thank you so much to my sweet friend Cece for letting me tour yet again one of your amazing islands and i hope y'all are having an amazing day wherever you are in this big old beautiful world thank you so much for being patient with my chaotic upload schedule life has been so crazy both uh mostly like all really really great wonderful things but i appreciate your patience nonetheless and i will see y'all in the next one Bye bye